What in the world is Orlando Brown doing? Now, I know that's a lot of the reaction that you guys are having today. The report that Orlando Brown and the Chiefs are way apart and he might hold out on camp and all that stuff. I know, I know, I know, I know. Everybody's fired up and I don't blame you. Uh, But I just want to give everybody an update I don't usually do news flashes like this. Uh, there are other channels on here that you should check out. Cole's one of them. Um, but if you want real analysis of what's actually going on, that's why you come to RGR Football. Welcome. I'm Ryan. You guys know me. If you don't, analyst, former coach, former uh, trainer, all kinds of stuff in this sport. And everybody's reacting today because of the report from Mike Garofalo. Garofalo, sorry, Mike. <laughs> um, because... They should. You, you want the guy in camp. You, you want it to be that he wants to be there and that there's, uh, you know, this this kind of a kinship to making sure it gets done. From the outside, we, we always forget that this is a business and this is part of the business right now. It is normal for these things to happen. The reports getting out is part of the process. It's putting pressure on the two parties to try to get it done. Whether it came from the Chiefs camp or whether it came from the agent side, it really doesn't matter. But all these things are really setting up the process of how it's going to get done. That's why they're doing it. Now, the whole thing about, hey, Orlando's willing to sit out camp, and that might even stretch into week one, that is from the agent side. Because that's what they're trying to do is to force the issue to get this done or else, hey, you might not have your left tackle. That is generally an effective thing, but it's difficult to see a new agent try to push this and actually win with it. I don't see that happening. I am still optimistic that this deal will get done and you will have Orlando Brown by week one. Now, the options are very limited for him. He may just be playing on the franchise tag and I really don't care. That's absolutely fine because the Chiefs in 2022 need the tackle, they don't need a long-term tackle. And they have the ability to franchise him a second time. He might not enjoy that. Might work out just fine for the team. So in the end, there are still plenty of options. It does not mean that the Chiefs aren't going to have their left tackle for the season. So the hype that's going on here and that reaction off the top of this is really something that you got to take with a grain of salt. Because in the end... The only option for Orlando Brown is because he will not be under contract, so he can't rack up fines, so he could sit out camp if he wants. That's not going to make him any better. That's not going to give him a better performance on the field to get that big contract that he thinks he deserves. And quite frankly, he should think that he deserves. That's his agent's role. That's what they should all be pushing for. The idea is that you meet in the middle. I still have some optimism that this gets done, but if it doesn't, it's the tag or nothing for him. He does not have another option. Sitting out a year... You'll see how that worked out for Lev Bell. I don't see that happening. If it does, then he's getting some really, really bad advice from this new agent. We'll see what comes of it. But I would say this. Don't overreact to the reports because I think we're going to probably see more, if not today, then closer to the actual deadline. We'll see what happens from there. If the worst came to worst and he decides to sit out camp, okay. Darren Kennard gets more reps. Jaron Christian gets more reps. By week one and he's missing game checks, that changes things. So I think you can be optimistic about that. Now, again, this is my opinion. I've worked and covered this league for a very long time. We've seen this quite a bit. And it doesn't matter whether it's it's an offensive tackle or a wide receiver or whatever it is. There are tactics in negotiation and using the press is one of the more desperate ones. So the quiet that we've had until this point has been good. And now it seems that somebody's not getting their way and they're letting things out. That's pretty normal. I wouldn't be too worried about it as it stands right now. But uh, we'll keep you apprised as we go forward. Again, if you want real analysis from people who understand the league, have done the film work, have done the coaching work, that's why you come to RGR. If you want news briefs and blogger opinions on things, you can go to the other channels. I want you to stay here. I want you to be part of Rogue Nation. So click the bell, make sure that you're subbed to the channel, and we'll give you some more when we got it. Watch for more film review today from Dan. We'll talk to you when we have an update.